So what caught my eye at the Bluefin booth was this little Ghibli display. So we've got all these Totoro's, we've got some Kiki's delivery service cats. I just really love the like, Ghibli aesthetic. It's so cute, it's so like heartwarming. It evokes like the best parts of childhood. Uh, but then that drew my attention. But what really got me going is I love Lupin the Third. So seeing these figures, and then there's Freddie Mercury. Posable figures, not my thing. But if you can pose a Freddie Mercury figure, you're in a good situation. So there's a lot more to this booth than just mech kits. And mech kits are fine too. So we're gonna explore more of Bluefin. Let's go. They got Bruce Lee fighting Ranma. Where could you find that except for at an anime convention? I ask you. So Tamashi Buddies, they have the little like stand in the background and they've got these pillars so you can like stack them like you see. I'm not too big on like the chibi figures, but I do like the backgrounds. I like having like dioramas with my figures. It, it makes them like more alive. Sabo is now the most beloved character in One Piece and for good reason. Check out this figure. So he's got the words, I wish I read Japanese. These should be really easy to read. But I love it when the characters have the like action text like from the manga with them in the figure. It's so cool. I wish JoJo's figures did that. So while you may know Digimon as cute and fluffy, perfect for like plushes, we've got the mega level Digimon here. We've got the full figures. They can fight each other, relive all of your childhood memories with scale figures. Love it, I love it. And they're all posable. They've got all these cool like weapons. Uh, this is this is like reliving your childhood in the best possible way. Just a few weeks ago, I was at the Gundam Cafe in Japan, which was super cool. They had like a museum on top of the mall right next to it. There was a 50 foot tall life-size Gundam. It was great. But there was so much Gundam, there were so many different figures, I didn't know what to do. Here is a reasonable amount of Gundam. It's still a lot, but it's all from Iron-Blooded Orphans, which is the most recent one to come out on Crunchyroll. Uh, really excited here. Now, what you'll notice is Iron-Blooded Orphans makes one fatal mistake as a Gundam series. There are no Zaku. This is not a reasonable Zaku equivalent. So we're gonna just skip the Iron-Blooded Orphan stuff, even though it's really cool, and move ahead to the original Gundam where the Zaku's at. I love original Gundam. I watched it as an adult, but for whatever reason, the original Gundam speaks to me on a fundamental level. And all of the designs, sure, they're a little simpler than something you see in like Seed or Seed Destiny, but they have this like classic feel to them and it just stirs the heart. It stirs the heart. Also, you don't get Gun Tank in New Gundam. Gun Tank is lame. That is why you love Gun Tank, because it's so stupid. Why would you want to have a Gundam that's a tank when you could have a Gundam with feet that can walk around and fly? This one's dumb. It's like a Landmaster in Star Fox. It can't fly, so what are you even doing with it? But I love it because it's lame. Oh, ooh, here we go. So I was talking earlier, I love it when they have dioramas. So why, why do people own figures? Do people own figures because they want to just express their love for a character or express their love for a show? Sure, but what's the point of having that if you can't like feel the show when you have the figure? So dioramas are such a cool and inventive way to express like why you love the show, why you have the figure. And these are all from a contest. Oh my gosh. We've got some idol Gundams down here. We've got a waterfall battle. I am really impressed. So they're gonna be putting up more of these throughout the weekend and there's going to be a contest to see who wins this Gumpla World Cup 2016 at Anime Central. I can't wait to see who wins. You know this booth is legit because they have a giant line that goes all the way around the booth to try and get in. They only let a select few people, lucky people, to get in at a time. Thank you so much for joining us on this adventure through the Bluefin booth. Well, a lot of this stuff is super exclusive. Some of it is also available in the Crunchyroll store, so come check it out. I'm your host, Miles. Thank you so much for watching.